guys, Plebeian here with Midget Master Gaming. Hey, today I'm going to show you guys how to install the Starry Pi server overlay on your Starbound server. First, you need to have your Starbound server installed, so if you haven't, go ahead and check out our video, links below on how to install a Starbound server. Next thing you need to do is download the three files in our description, which are the active Python the Starry Pi 123 zip and the Starry Pi instructions. Once you've downloaded those, go ahead and first install the Active Python. Run that complete, install it. After that's completed, next thing I want you to do is unzip the Starry Pi zip. Where I want you to do that though is in the C drive, which is Starry Pi. So C colon Starry Pi. Go ahead and extract that there. Next thing you're going to do is open up the Starry Pi instructions. And once we have the Starry Pi instructions up, we're going to go ahead and move on to the actual installation of the Starry Pi server. So the first thing I want you to do is we need to get to the command prompt inside the C colon starry pi. So how we're going to do that, there's two ways to do that. First thing you could do is go ahead and go to run and then type in CMD and hit enter. Next thing you need, we need to do is get to C colon starry pi. So how we do that is CD backslash hit enter and we're now at the C drive. We're going to change directories CD to starry pi enter. We are now in the Starry Pi with the command prompt. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to take these three instructions and run them through the command prompt in the Starry Pi folder. So go ahead in here and copy the first one and then come over here and right click anywhere in the black area and paste. Hit enter and run the instruction. Once the instructions run, we're going to move on to the next one. You'll notice it already says installed on mine, but I'm just kind of showing you guys again on my computer. So we're going to go ahead and copy. We're going to go ahead and paste. Enter. And we're going to repeat it one more time with number three. Copy. Oops. <laughs> I did control C there. What I meant to do was right click and paste and then go ahead and hit enter. Okay, so that's pretty much the first part of installing the Starry Pi server. The next is we need to go and make sure all the config files are all set in the Starry Pi. So we know where Starry Pi is. It's in the C drive under Starry Pi. So go ahead and get to the Starry Pi folder and inside there you're going to see some files. You're also going to see a folder named config. Go ahead and open that up and you're going to see a file name config.json. Go ahead and open up that with notepad++. It's going to be right at the top, line number two. Just got to make sure it's at pointed at 21025, bind point. Next we're going to go all the way down to the bottom to number 162. We want to make sure the upstream port is set to 21024. The next thing we need to do is make sure it's pointed towards the starbound config file in the starbound folder in your Steam folder. So mine is set on the C drive slash Steam slash Steam apps so forth. So for you guys, I don't probably is going to be in program file slash steam, but just get to that starbound folder. For me again, it's going to be steam, steam apps, common, starbound. So here I'm going to write C colon steam Steam apps common and then the starbound. We just need to make sure we're pointing 
to where this file is and that's going to be in this folder now again you guys might have it in the program folders but when I install Steam I make sure I do it directly onto the seer D drive for me go ahead and leave localhost where it's at and we are going to save this file as config.json go ahead and hit save and say yes the next file we want to open up is going to be here in the Starbound folder. So go ahead and open up Starbound in your Notepad++. And we just need to change one line in here. And that is going to be line 20, the game port. Normally we had it set to 21025, but we want to change that to 21024. The game port gets connected through the Starbound overlay. So Starbound overlay grabs the connection first through 21025, sends it to the upstream port 21024, which then sends it to the Starbound config. Once you have that saved, that's all you need to do. I mean, you might want to check out your server password for now. I'm going to go ahead and save that. Go ahead and place that. Exit out. And we've now completed step two of the Starrybound overlay server. Next thing we want to do is now start the Starrybound server. But first we need to start the Starbound server. So go ahead and start your Starbound server now and have it connect. And there's going to be one definite change from this that is different from your typical Starbound server once you got it completed. And you'll see here the last line is going to be the port where before you guys were used to port 21025, we now are going to be at port. 21024 and you'll see that pop up here in a second. Once that's popped up, let's start the Starry Pi overlay. Now remember, let's get to that command prompt C colon Starry Pi and we're going to run our last instruction that's on our Starry Pi instruction notepad. Go ahead, copy, paste hit enter everything is loaded up it's listening on port 21025 why don't we connect on starbound on my computer and check out and see if the commands are working let's go to plebeian we're going to log in with uh, the password and we're going to join server let's do slash help and look at that we have our commands well thanks for watching the video today